welcome to this answer explanation video. This video will talk you through the multiply two digits using the area model worksheet and we'll talk you through some of the tricky bits. Question one says using the area model circle the correct answer and then in front of us we've got what looks like a complete area model for the calculation 43 times 31. It's always a good idea to check these models to make sure we don't need to add anything extra to it because the question says using the area model it doesn't say whether or not it's complete. So 40 times 30 that should give us 1200 or 12 hundreds so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 we can see we've got 12 hundreds which is the same as 1200. Then we would do 3 times 30. 3 times 30 is 90, so we should have 90 in this box. And then we've got 3, 6, 9, tens, so that's 90. So that's correct. In this box, we should have 40 times 1, which would give us 4 tens, and it does. And then in this box, we do the calculation 3 times 1. So 3 times 1 is 3, and there's 3 counters, so that's correct. So this model is done for us completely. We don't need to add anything to it. What we can do now is add everything that's inside this grid together. So that would be three. Nine add four makes 13. 2 add 1 makes 3, and then 1 add nothing makes 1. So the answer to 43 times 31 is 1,333. That is one of the options on the sheet, so we can circle 1,333. Question 2. Lucy and Elijah have both worked out the calculation 62 times 24 using the area model. Lucy says, I think the answer is 1,488. Elijah says, I think the answer is 1,848. Complete the model to find out who is correct. So what we need to do is add our place value counters to these two boxes and then add everything up to work out the answer to 62 times 24. So the first job is to do 60 multiplied by 20. 60 times 20 is 1,200 and we can represent that by drawing 12 hundreds counters. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So in that box is 1,200. Then what we would have to do is 2 times 20. 2 times 20, that's one lot of 20, two lots of 20 so in total that gives us 40. So we've got 1240 60 times 4 should give us 240 which we can also represent using 24 um, tens counters so let's just make sure that's what we've got so that's 6, 12, 18 24. So that is 240. And then finally we do 2 times 4 which is 8, 2, 4, 6, 8. So now what we can do is add these four numbers together. So if that gives us 8, 4 and 4 gives us 8, 2 and 2 gives us 4, and 1 on its own is 1,488. So Lucy is correct. Question 3 says complete the area models to make the comparison symbol correct. We know the area models are incomplete because there are no numbers around the outside of the model to show the numbers that have been partitioned and then multiplied. 
We also know that they're, that they're incomplete because this comparison symbol suggests that this area model should be bigger than this one. However, if we look carefully, we can see that this has 600s and this has 400s. Now this adds up to make 120. However, when you add that and that together, you don't get a number greater than 600. So this is still greater than this at the moment and we need it to be the other way around. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to work with this area model here on the left. Now I could add to it, but I'm not going to add to it because I want to make sure that this number stays small. So the first thing I'm going to do is work out which numbers can go in this box and this box. And I can see here I've got 600. I've got three lots going across and two going down. So to me, it would make me want to put 30 in this box and 20 in this box because 30 times 20 is 600. I also want to put 30 in this box because if I look down here, I've got three tens. So if I have three tens in here, 30 times one gives me 30. Here I've got 20, I've got two tens which makes 20 and 20 is in this box. So that makes me want to put one in here because one times 20 is 20. And then in this box there's one by itself, so one times one makes one. I've not added anything to that, I just want to keep it as it is, so it's easier for me to then change here. So this calculation is 31 times 21. If I look, I've got 600, 20, 30 and 1. 600, add 20, add 30. And 1 gives us 1, 5, and 6. Gives 651. So I know now that whatever I put in this area model, the total needs to be greater than 651 to make this entire comparison statement true. First of all, I know I need more hundreds. So I'm going to change what I have in here. So instead of just the 4, I'm going to multiply 40 by 20. Because then that gives me a total of 800. So I know now that that is definitely bigger than that. But I want to make it bigger than that. I'm going to make it bigger. I'm going to add even more. So far I can see that I've got 2 in here, so that would suggest that that's 41, because 20 times 1 is 20, but I want to add some more. And then that gives us 20 times 3, because I've got 3 lots of 20. So that's 2, 4, 6, 60. Here I'm not going to add any more. On your sheet you don't actually have the space to add any more. So I just need to work out what to put in here. Well, four lots, I can see I've got four lots of three, so that would be 23, but then we've got three times three here, so I need to add another three ones. So now I've got three, six, nine. And as I said before, I've got 120 here. So now what I need to do is add everything together. 800, add 60, Add 120, add 9, that would give us 9, 6, 7, 8, 8, add 1 is 9. So 43 times 23 equals 989. So now this statement is true because the answer to the calculation here is greater than the answer to the calculation here. That was a video covering the multiply two digits area model worksheet from Classroom Secrets. If you would like to watch the video tutorial accompanying this step, please visit kids.classroomsecrets.co.uk. And if you would like some additional resources on this step, please visit our other website, classroomsecrets.co.uk. Thanks for watching.